I'm Jane Morrison Ross, the Chief Exec of Scotland is the Digital Technology Industry Body for Scotland um, and the Cluster Management Organisation for Scotland's Data and Cyber Clusters. Um, what did I have to do to get into this type of work? Probably not what you'd expect. I wanted to go to art school and I did um, and I did enjoy it and I learned lots there but I graduated in a recession and had to find another way to pay the bills. Um, I went back to Napier University and did a business and IT postgrad and I found that it was quite interesting uh, and I came at things really differently to a lot of my fellow students because I'd come from art school so I had a different way of solving problems and a different way of thinking about things and probably a different approach to the coursework as well. After I did that, I was really lucky and I got onto Napier University's first multimedia course. And that was where I really discovered my fascination with technology um, and my love for all of things on screen and digital. I was lucky that Napier used placements as part of that course. So when we were two thirds of the way through the course, we all went on placement and I went into an e-commerce specialist, one of the first in Scotland and loved it. I discovered that I loved problem solving, I loved working with clients, I loved trying to sell ideas that at the time were really new and innovative to organisations that hadn't used the technology before. I'm not a technologist, so I was really selling the concept rather than the, the deep tech part of it, but I got to work with lots of really, really good expert technologists over the years, and that's been a huge learning curve and also something that's kept the job really interesting because the technology changes so fast um, and develops all the time. If I could give myself advice, my younger self advice, it would be hang in there, follow the path, that you want to follow. Don't give up on your dreams and try and find what you love and what you enjoy doing. I think the worst thing I can imagine is being in a job that I really didn't like. Um, I'm really lucky to do a job that I love and to work with a fantastic team of people and amazing companies that do everything from space technology to satellites to um, predictive analytics to software and app development and everything in between. So Follow your instinct as much as you can and don't worry if the first couple of things don't work out. Um, there is no wrong path and you can keep trying and sometimes trying and not succeeding teaches us more than you know winning every time. So I would say hang in there. I didn't imagine that I would necessarily end up in a job like this. I wanted to be an artist I suppose when I was young and then um, I wanted to go and study law at one point and then came back around to studying art. But I think what inspired me about this job and the jobs that I've been doing that have led to this is bringing creative thinking and problem solving together with technology. It means that every day is new um, and there's so much potential to work in areas that intersect with the technology. So if you're interested in climate crisis and what technology can do to solve that, then this industry is a great one to be in. If you're interested in design and you want to understand human computer interaction, then again, this is a great industry to be in. If you're really into unpicking things, then ethical hacking might be for you. I'm not sure what my big break was or if there was a sort of big break. I think it was after Napier going on that placement that was probably the really pivotal change for me once I got that placement um, there were lots of doors opened and lots of opportunities came my way one of them was joining the first board of Scotland is 20 years ago when I was really quite young to be in that kind of position so I think you know things went wrong there were some interesting times during the e-commerce boom when lots of companies went bust and quite a lot of us that were specialists um, worked for companies that went uh, spectacularly bust and quite publicly bust but we learned a lot and you could put it to good use afterwards so I think that was it it was probably that that placement opportunity through Napier that made a real difference for me um, I think I think the advice I would give to somebody nowadays is follow your dream don't give up don't worry if you follow your path and you take a wrong turn or something doesn't work out it's not the end there's always a way through um, and if you keep trying you will find it 
and do what you love, do what you enjoy, do what you're passionate about and stick with it. And talk to people, make contacts, make connections and keep the connections going. Um, that would probably be it. There's no wrong path and follow your instinct and try and do what you love.